Hey everyone, Tony George, Sunday update. Lions and Rams tonight. NFC clash. What a ball game. This is going to be a ball game tonight, boys and girls. It's going to be a ball game. We'll tell you a couple different ways to attack the thing. Uh, teasers, props. Maybe a lean. Want to appreciate, uh, want to throw out some appreciation. I had tremendous support on my eight unit NFL game of the year last night. It was on the Kansas City Chiefs, my beloved Chiefs. Um, it wasn't a homer pick. I saw no path in which Miami was going to win that game. None. As a matter of fact, I was down here last night at Circa. Myself, Mrs. George, some family members, a Griff Murphy was hanging out with me. It was the largest single football wager I'd made all year long. I was that confident. Proven to be right. Miami had no business. The weather was deplorable, which was a huge advantage to Kansas City. Uh, Taylor Swift was looking really cute. <laughs> Brother. Every time they show Taylor Swift on the television screens at Circus Sportsbook, which had about 3,000, 5,000 people in there, Everybody booed. Mrs. George was not happy. She loves Taylor Swift, too. But nonetheless, um, it's Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid at home in the playoffs. Against it, and by the way, it, Kansas City's defense stuffed them the first time they played them. And they've gotten better. Kansas City's offense hasn't gotten any better. You saw that last night in the red zone, which is a comeback and bite them in the ass and they play somebody good. And when's Miami come up against anybody that was good this year and put, put a butt whipping on them? Name it. Again, you're talking about a coach and a quarterback that have been to five straight AFC championships, won three of them. Talking about a quarterback that has, what, four? Maybe five, don't quote me, division losses in five years as a starter and five straight division titles wasn't even close. You're laying four and a half to Miami who can't get out of their own way on the road against anybody good? Tua, Mahomes, is that even close? Their head coach versus Andy Reid? That's not even close. But anyway, I've got a huge win there. Appreciate the support. Pardon me. Let's talk about this game here tonight. And when I was down at Circa last night, I ran into a couple of buddies of mine um, out and about there in the arena. Both professional betters. Four to five figures a game. Not handicappers. They're professional betters. And they're with the I'm not screwing around crew. I talk to them all the time. I asked them about this game, and they told me exactly what I thought. Dead even. The only reason Detroit's slaying three is because they're playing at home. And if you take a look at this game, it's dead even. You know, a lot of people screaming, Detroit, sleeper. Uh, Detroit doesn't even have the best coach in this game. Matter of fact, this is the best coaching job Sean McVay's done in his career this year, and he's been to two Super Bowls. You know, one of them with golf. Who's you got two quarterbacks going against their old team here? Two really good quarterbacks, uh, both surrounded by weapons. Lions defense to me is a big question mark, big liability. Really is. For that reason, I like Matt Stafford over thirty-eight and a half yards longest pass completion. He's hit one of 41 or better in five of his last six games. And guess who's dead last in the NFL at giving up explosive plays? That would be the hapless Detroit Lions defense. That's the best bet I'm going to give you all day long. I tease the Rams probably with Green Bay or Dallas. You can tease that one either way. I'd err on the side of caution and take Put them with Green Bay. 
plus 13 because it is Dallas. It is the playoffs. And it's Mike McCarthy. Those are three big liabilities in the postseason. Um, in this game here, I'd lean, I'm going to tell you what I think about side and total. I'd lean over. I just think with these quarter, the thing when you have two really good quarterbacks, both of them got a cannon for an arm. Everybody that's sitting in that stadium watch Matt Stafford do it his entire career. If he'd ever surround him with anything other than one or two really good players and put together a team, he'd probably have two or three Super Bowls. I said if he was anywhere else, he'd have a Super Bowl. When he was playing there, and the second he got away from him, he won a Super Bowl with the Rams. I trust the Rams head coach um, more than I do Detroit's. I trust LA's defense better than I do Detroit's. And I trust Stafford more than I do, so I'd lean uh, LA. Um, and I'd lean the over. You got two good quarterbacks with two good running games. This Williams kid for LA is going to be a superstar. Um, that sets up play action pass. You got to keep defenses honest. And we know the Lions defense isn't any good. Then on the other side of the ball, you've got Montgomery and Gibbs and, you know, sets up play action. When you, when you have the threat of a run, uh, that means you go into zone defenses and you have two quarterbacks here that are vastly experienced that can pick apart a zone defense. I think there's going to be a track meet up and down the field, personally. I think the over probably is the biggest lean here of 52 and a half. I'd small lean on the Rams for the upset. I know there's a ton of people out there that think Detroit's going to go to the Super Bowl this year. You're not going to go to the Super Bowl with that defense. FYI, Duck Sports place to be. Uh, free 60 bucks, link in the description below. We have a basketball card that's already gone off today. We went 4-1 and one on a five-pack yesterday and 3-0 and oh the day before in college basketball. And uh, we have a prop card tonight as well and a two-pack with a total and a teaser for today. And we have a four-unit play. We'll be watching two ball games on Monday, boys and girls. Move that Pittsburgh game. Might affect my total. On that teaser we talked about for free yesterday, we teased that up to 39 and a half, took the under. Still might be good because I don't think Pittsburgh can score. Just saying. Good luck.